Hello, guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. I have Mr. Nini, the floating chinchilla, with me today, and uh, we're going to be talking about the Cold Kill Hatchet. Uh, the Cold Kill Hatchet is a nightmare level unique, and uh, unfortunately it is a rather short-ranged item, which is something that I do need to point out. Um, and the durability is not very high at 28, which is kind of a downside for a lot of these axes and things, because they just don't really have very high durability. And if you're a very fast attacking character like a Frenzy Barbarian or a Zeal Paladin, you're going to be running in town to repair them a lot. Um, it's one of the things that I've actually talked about in some of my other uh, videos, is that uh, Diablo really needs a durability revamp. A lot of these items need more durability uh, because all that happens is, is instead of people using them and being like, oh, well, this item breaks all the time. No, they just they gravitate more toward the items that don't break or have extremely high durability. So it's um, it's something that does need to be touched on. I'm, I'm hoping that eventually the uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected crew will uh, will take a look at it. Um, now, this axe is uh, only level 36 and it has extremely low requirements at 25 strength, 25 dex. Uh, in fact, the majority of the people in the game can probably put this on, even a sorceress. Um, it has a very fast attack speed, because this is a, uh, a rather fast weapon to begin with. And on top of that, it also has a 30% increased attack speed as well. So, uh, so very nice. Uh, it also has some very nice chance to cast and chance when struck abilities. Um, most notably is the 10% chance to cast level 10 Ice Blast on striking. Now, Ice Blast isn't necessarily about damage. It's a really about the freezing effect that Ice Blast contains. Um, so Ice Blast is a sorceress spell, um, and at level 10, it has a damage of 91 to 100, which is actually pretty good for level 36. Um, and it has a freeze length duration of 4.8 seconds. Now, in normal difficulty, that 4.8 seconds will remain 4.8 seconds, and, uh, and it will not change. However, in uh, Nightmare Difficulty, it's cut in half to 2.4 seconds, and in Hell Difficulty, it's at 33%, uh, so even lower. However, it will still freeze targets, and if you kill them while they are under the freezing effect, they will shatter. Uh, this is also a downside if you need corpses. So if you are specifically a character like a uh, Find Item Barbarian or a Necromancer or something like that, um, you know, who utilizes corpses on a regular basis, or maybe even a... Um, assassin using the death century uh, this might be something that you want to avoid because it will definitely consume corpses and shatter them into bits uh, we also have a very nice 10 percent chance to cast level 5 frost nova when struck now frost nova when struck is an extremely good defensive ability it doesn't necessarily do an extremely large amount of damage and that's really not what it's for uh, but what it does do is when it comes out it hits everything nearby with a nice cold effect and it causes a chill to hit all the monsters around you. Now the chill effect um, is actually pretty good for level 5 uh, because it lasts a total of 12 seconds which is a pretty decent amount of time and in normal difficulty that 12 seconds is 12 seconds. Um, in Nightmare which is where you're probably going to be using this the 12 seconds is going to be more like 6 and then in Hell difficulty that's going to fall even further down to 3 seconds but it's still going to chill everything around you for three seconds, uh, which is going to buy you time to get away. Because when monsters are chilled, of course, they run slower, they attack slower, um, they don't cast slower, but they, do, but they do run and attack slower. So if you're ever in a situation where you end up um, getting sort of like demolished by monsters, uh, the Cold Kill Hatchet Frost effects can definitely come in handy to, uh, number one, get you out of those encounters, or number two, help make those counters a little less uh, devastating. And, uh, and we're probably going to go and test those out in a little while. We'll go out and, and play around with the abilities. Um, we also have a 190% enhanced damage on this particular item. And um, it is variable by uh, was it 40%, so it's 150 to 190%. Uh, so you will find this in kind of a lower damage state sometimes. Um, and that is actually the only variable on this particular item, is the enhanced damage. So if you do find a 190% cold kill hatchet, you got a perfect one. Uh, we also have plus 40 cold damage, which is kind of a weird mechanic. Um, it's not plus 1 to 40. It's not plus, like, 300 to 400. It's just plus 40. Just, just plus 40 added directly to your attack. Um, and it has a cold duration of 2 seconds. 
Um, now, because cold damage is um, additive, which means that any cold damages you have will increase the duration, um, like if you're running charms or anything like that, you will be able to increase the duration of this cold damage further, but it is a two second duration on the 40 cold damage um, that it has. And then on top of that, we also have a 15% plus to maximum cold resistance and a 15% cold resistance buff to cap out the resistances once you get that 15%. So uh, when you put this particular um, weapon on, you will go from the 75% resistances to the 90% um, resistances, which is uh, pretty darn sweet. Um, now, the 90% resistance is actually really, really awesome, and uh, basically what it does is it's going to make it so that you're not going to be able to take very much damage from any kind of cold attacks, whether it be blizzards from the, uh, the evil little monsters in Act 3, or whether it's, um, you know, glacial spikes from the summoner. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be very well protected from cold damage, um, and especially if you're running something like Ravenfrost for a little bit of absorption as well, it's going to make uh, for a very tanky resistance to that particular element. In fact, you could potentially even use this um, in a PvP scenario um, just to protect yourself from cold damage. Maybe you're fighting a, a blizzard sorceress or something and you just want a way to protect yourself while well, 15% max cold res and 15 cold resistance can certainly help you out a little bit in that scenario. Um, the ethereal version also exists and the ethereal version has 43 to 89 damage. Uh, it has 15 dex and 15 strength requirement, which is even lower. And, uh, and it's also level 36. Now, the problem with the ethereal version, of course, is you can't really utilize it. Um, you could potentially put it on just for the 10% chance to cast level 5 Frost Nova and, um, and get the effect. Um, it's not going to take any durability damage unless you actually use it as a weapon. So um, that, that by itself is really kind of like what you could do. You could put it on for the Frost Nova when struck. And you can put it on for the 15% max cold res and the cold resistance 15%. So you could very easily bump it up, you know, bump, use it as a basically like a stat stick if you just happen to find an ethereal version. Um, now, I do think that we can upgrade this, and I think it might actually upgrade pretty well given the statistics. So let's take a look and see what happens when we upgrade the cold kill hatchet to its elite version. Uh, so the regular version, the non-ethereal version, upgrades from the Cold Kill Hatchet 29 to 60, 25 dex, 25 strength, level 36, to the Cold Kill Tomahawk 95 to 168, which is not bad, uh, 67 dex, 125 strength, and level 47. So actually a really nice upgrade there in terms of uh, the level requirement and the damage. At level 47, that's actually really nice. And uh, the dexter dexterity and strength requirements didn't go up so high that it would be untenable. I could totally see utilizing this on a Zeal Paladin, a Frenzy Barbarian, uh, maybe even a an Assassin, just so you could get like the, the Ice Blast on striking or something like that. Um, I mean, there's a couple different choices. Let's take a look at the Ethereal version, and let's see how that one upgrades as well. So that one's going to go from the Cold Kill Hatchet, 43 to 89, 15 dex, 15 strength, level 36, to the Cold Kill Tomahawk, 142 to 252 damage, uh, 57 strength, 115, 57 dex, 115 strength, and level 47. Um, actually, really good upgrades for the Cold Kill uh, Hatchet. Um, and uh, honestly, at level 47... Like, you could totally utilize either one of these um, in a couple different scenarios. I could see using this one on a Blade Fury Sin, um, or an early Blade Fury Sin, just so you can get the Ice Blast on striking. Uh, if you guys are unaware, Blade Fury does not burn durability. So having a, a one-handed weapon like this that can dish out um, Ice Blasts and would also give Frost Novas when you get struck um, could be pretty interesting, especially considering it has the added cold damage and then, of course, also the protection from cold damage. Um, not 100% sure about spending a pull and a lumber rune on it. You might spend that on something else instead, but if you were rolling in the runes. And, uh, I mean, the non-ethereal version also could be extremely useful for zeal paladins, frenzy barbarians, uh, maybe even a druid um, if you were using a one-handed and shield combo. It's fast enough that it could certainly be useful. Uh, the main detriment that I can see here, though, is just the fact that it it has that extremely low durability. 
Um, let's take it out real quick and uh, have a look at the effects. So let's go to River of Flame real quick and play around with the Frost Nova. Alright, these guys are not immune to cold. Oh, I'm in Nightmare. Okay, good. So as you can see, the Frost Nova comes out, and uh, it's going to chill everything nearby, which is going to be an extremely defensive mechanic for you. Um, and just in general, you're definitely going to like having the uh, increase in uh, in defensive, like, basically standing. Um, the other really cool thing, of course, is the, um, is the Ice Blast on Striking, um, which, as you can see, when it does go off, the monster will just simply freeze or in some cases just completely die. Uh, so we've got tons of little chill effects. We got chill on striking. We've got the ice blast, which freezes the targets. We've got the uh, the Nova, which is going to come out on a regular basis um, as you get hit, and it's going to chill all the targets. Um, as you can see, it's just a constant, nice little AOE chill, which is going to you know affect the monsters on a regular basis. Um, but in Hell difficulty, it's not going to have as much of an effect as uh, it should. So I think using this in normal difficulty and nightmare is probably your best bet uh, for the defensive mechanic because in hell difficulty the frost nova chill doesn't really last long enough unless it's a high level frost nova and the higher level the frost nova honestly the better. Um, all in all, it, it it definitely is a very cool item. Get it? Cool? Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Um, because it just it focuses on ice, and that's exactly what it's for. It gives you protection from ice. It gives you tons of freezing effects. It gives you chilling effects. It gives you extra cold damage, and it's particularly fast. And I could totally see in the hands of a Zeal Paladin or a Frenzy Barbarian, the the, the ice blast effect going off just on a regular basis, just constantly spamming. Uh, which is just a free additional 100 cold damage that also freezes the targets. Um, I mean, I'm basically, what I'm going to rate this item as is an extremely defensive item. Um, we have a Frost Nova that causes an AoE chill, which is defensive. We have a Ice Blast, which is a freezing effect, which is defensive. We have a 15% max cold resist and 15% to uh, cold resistance, which is, again, it's very defensive. Um, so in general, we just have an extremely defensive item here, which is also going to dish out a pretty nice amount of damage and could be utilized by characters who use chance to cast effects. Like, for instance, um, you could get good use out of it on, like I said, a Blade Fury Sin or even a, uh, a Paladin Smiter. Um, let's take a look and see where we could potentially find ourselves a cold kill hatchet if we want to get our hands on one. And yes, I know I have a chinchilla hat. Alright, so let's pull up Silo's pen here. Eek. And uh, let's pretend we got about 100% magic fine. That sounds good. Uh, let's grab the cold kill hatchet. Look at the bosses. So normal Bale can drop this at 1 in 512. Uh, we also have Nightmare and Dariel at 1 in 545. And Nightmare Mephisto at 1 in 601. Now at level 35, when you want to get your hands on this, um, normal Bale seems like the better choice, or uh, Nightmare and Dariel. Uh, because you really kind of want this as you're going into Nightmare difficulty, not really like when you're already there. Because when you're already there, you're going to be you're going to be pushing through crap, and you, you want a good weapon at your backside. Um, we also got Super Uniques. Let's take a look at Super Uniques real quick. Uh, Nightmare Cow King, 1 in 1,008. Nightmare Summoner, 1 in 4,871. Uh, Nightmare Countess, not bad, at 1 in 5,211. And you might be farming her anyway for runes, so that could be a good choice. Um, Normal Pindle Skin apparently can drop this at 1 in 6,044. It's actually a really easy farm. Uh, normal Pindle Skin is extremely easy to farm. Obviously, you can just log out, log in, kill Pindle, log out, log in, kill Pindle, log out, log in, kill Pindle. Rinse, repeat until your eyes bleed. Um, you know, bleeding eyes, exactly what people look for in a, in a man. <laughs> Where do I come up with these lines? Anyway, it does look like it's a pretty easy item to find. A lot of good choices. Um, pretty good probabilities, too, so I don't think you're going to have any luck or uh, any trouble finding this particular item um anyway as always i do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos even when we are talking about a very cool weapon and uh you know if you uh want to continue watching be sure to hit that subscribe button
outro play.